the exercises we've just completed hide the biggest problem with uh, the herfindahl hirschman index and to be fair any industry concentration measure that you could come up with the big problem here is trying to figure out what actually is an industry a at what point should we say a firm is in an industry versus not and uh, are there firms that operate across multiple industries? In that case, which industry should we count them as part of? And so on. It's, it's really not a trivially easy thing for us to figure out. So as an example on the slide here, I've identified the cola industry, which you know you might think is a pretty obvious one. You've got Coke and Pepsi and maybe a couple of smaller colas around. But it's not clear exactly how we should define this industry, you know. Uh, all of those firms that make cola also make sodas, make other sodas that compete with one another. Uh, so is the industry that we should really be considering soda rather than cola? Um, well, how about geographically? Uh, should we be considering a particular state, or the United States, or North America, or the entire world? Any of those could be uh, the industry in which, say, Coke and Pepsi are, as firms operate. Uh, what about all the different types of cola that are out there? Uh, so not, you know, Coke versus Pepsi, not brands, but the ways in which it's sold. Is, is a can out of a vending machine the same industry as a two litre of soda from the supermarket? And are they the same as the uh, premix uh, soda concentrate that is uh, then made into soda and sold at fast food restaurants? Uh, are they all the same industry? It's really not clear what the answer here is. Um, the Department of Justice does have guidelines for exactly how to consider whether firms are part of the same industry or not, but it's, it's kind of complicated and a little bit beyond the scope of this class. For now, just assume that we can identify an industry, and so we can identify those market shares and compute the four firm concentration ratios and Herfindahl-Hirschman indices.